What's going on guys? We're on that grind today. We'll have a little RX-7 on the way on a Daptronic. We're gonna try to give that thing a tune up in a few and everybody else is here working on their stuff. Let's check that out. All right, so Shane's over here. Goofy's working on his stuff. What you looking at, boss? Just welds and... Just scanning to see? Yeah. So Jordan's trying to find all the little spots that he welded and try to bust that out. Shane did get all his drive shaft in and his viscous in, which has been rebuilt by Tom, uh, and, Milo, yeah, Milo. Tom and Milo. And this PPG trans in, and everything's coming together pretty good. And then my man Jesse Caprin's over here with Chris, gearing up for the PSCA stuff. This thing's looking fresh. Mm. Single cam that could. Did you yeah. see Elias win 840 last night? Yeah. Holy oh, record, crap, man. Yeah. Single, Single cam. Man. And just ran out of gear or something, they said? Yeah. There's still way more in it. I'm sure. It's, it's going to go 20s or 1s or oh, yeah. something. Yeah. Single cam. Yep. It's so nuts. wild, dude. How fast can they go? So that's the start of our day. And uh, we're going to get to it. Jamie, what did you get done last night? Anything more? Um, I got the scatter shield and the catch pan on. I started um, getting my bracket stuff all mounted, you know, going through my lines and everything. But I'm waiting on my fuel cell to get here. So I'm just kind of making the lines as I can. She's getting close. <laughs> so Jay showed up with this little guy, Phantom. Hey, yeah. And now Brett's here with this little guy, Aries. Oh. Aries. We got yeah. Phantom and Aries. How old is he? Eight weeks. Eight weeks, and how old is he? Twelve. 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 Let me say hi. Well, yeah, of course. Everybody loves the puppies. <laughs> They're like, what's up? He's a little guy. Yeah, he was the runt of the group. That's why you picked him, of course. Yeah. Oh, plane's coming. Plane's coming. Hey, yeah. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. And wait, round one. Hit a thing fast. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go. Oh, 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 Yep. <laughs> Phantom is on point. What's his name? Aries. Aries, that's right. So not the God of War yet. No. But it makes great pistons. <laughs> Yeah! Puppy battles! It's a party. <laughs> so entertaining, honestly. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> jump around. Jump around. Jump, jump. Ooh. Aries is getting a little spunky. Maybe I can run with this dude. <laughs> Wait for it. Get him. Go, Aries. Go. Go, Aries. Go. <laughs> you gotta get on top. Raise up. Raise the front legs. Get tall. Like, get tall. Yeah. Get tall, Aries. Get tall. Yep, get those front legs up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's like, I got There it. you go. You gotta get tall. Right. So what was in this beast again? It used to have a HKS T04S. Now it's got a EFR 8474, the .92 hot side. Internal gate. Very cool. Yeah. Internal gate. It's internally gated. So that's new too. Yeah. Internal gates like buried underneath the air filter down there. Gosh, it's such a cool package. Yeah, that was that was a tight packaging on that. Too. Yeah. For real. It looks so good. 
Gotta get okay. my finger on it right And it's now. got the E85 in it now? Yeah, it's on ethanol. Okay. Awesome. I try not to run it on gas for me. Anymore? No. I don't want to break stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fact. She's beautiful. And we've got a beautiful day. We're going to get ripping right now. She's all strapped down. And uh, looks good. All right, so what's the goof troop up to? Just filling some plates in. I'm holding know, the puppy in water. Making it look oh, okay. good. You know, cutting some stuff off. Grinding some stuff. Very some cool. Things, some other things. Finished up the welding back here, so that's all good. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Very I cool. Gonna... Yeah. I think I already did. I don't know. <laughs> what? what are you going to do? I was gonna flip that. I don't remember if I was gonna flip these or if I already flipped it because it should one way is lower than the other way, you know, they're off center. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that is the lower way, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yep, it is. Yep, that's the one to drop. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you gotta flip it. Well that would make it higher. Yeah, I think what you got well, is right. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. It's not that bad of an You were just kinda thinking about this ball yeah. there. Drop yeah, right. Yeah, I could Long bolts and wash for sure. I don't want to too many because that is all the torque and power coming through there. Cool. And then you guys can build a little like drive shaft loop or something right here. Yeah, or I can put it in a back Oh yeah, cool. yeah, that'd be that's a good idea. I dig that. Very cool. I need ones by rules it's supposed to be within six inches after each front flange. Oh okay. So that's all stuff you've been thinking about and yeah. working on. That's yeah, a little further than six, but. That way, if you did break a drive shaft or twist one like Roman did, it doesn't hit the ground, it just yeah, flops, yeah. Yeah, we got our shift knob again. Camshaft. This little hot rod's on Adaptronic. I am super stoked to be back in it. So here's the log where I started with around 14 pounds. try some different boost control so we're gonna test that out right now and see if we can make some more jam. was you can see here I put in 280 kPa okay now I did that because this actual boost target at 280 kPa to see this 276 is at 33 percent so I'm about 34 35 percent on the boost duty which is this row over here so what I'm doing there is I wanted to find out where to start making boost so 
Now I know that that is 220 kPa. So I'm gonna install 220 kPa numbers in those cells. And that's gonna give us our reference. So now we know. Ah, come on. Okay, so now we know where things begin. Our minimum boost right in there. So I'm gonna change all these to uh, 315. <clears throat> Down here, 100. Okay, and this is KPA. So all these numbers I'm putting in this section right now that you're looking at is KPA. We're basically trying to build ourselves a curve on how much boost it'll make at what duty cycle. 50. So you can see the numbers that he had. So he didn't, he just put some generic numbers in here. So these numbers were not doing anything. And these numbers I'm putting in, like this 300 KPA I just put in, that is KPA, that is the amount of air we are desiring. So if we can get that right, then we can have this thing set to jet. And I think what we're gonna chase out, probably chase around 250. So let's try that. Where she goes. Going. So <laughs> That's what we do. I'm See where she goes, man. We're holding up this far. We were almost out last time. Yeah. Yeah, she's just. Woo. She's just running. Duty up so 
sides. I think we were close to other injector, but that was the cleanest on the injector. Okay. Injector duty 80 and 67. So we got the injector duty down. It was 90 and 74. Okay. Across the board here. I think maybe exhaust is restricting us or something. I wonder because I come up to. Which color is your boost? The yellow? Um, yellow, yeah. Okay, I see it. I see it what you're talking about. It comes up to around 260 kPa. And then by the end, it falls to 230. Okay. But if you see in my map, you can see I've got it at 280 and I ramp it up to 310 back there where it would fall off. Giving it's it just more not, duty. It's just not doing it. Yeah, because if you come over here, 310 duty is about 65, 62 to 65%. Okay. So, like I came in and then I'm trying to ramp it in harder. It's not doing any more. Okay. So, so it looks like we might be at a restriction somewhere. Okay. Um, ramping in the back now because I was trying to get because it was kind of doing before, so I thought maybe just trying to pick it up a little bit. Do the duty out the back. Okay. It might be the wastegate actuator too. Yeah. It's a single yeah. port. It's just an internal, right? Yeah, it's just an internal single port. They yeah. make a nicer one. Turbo Smart does. I can pick it up if I want to go. Yeah. By the, by the end, we're only at 230 kPa. So I mean, it could be the wastegate. The wastegate actuator, could be, could be it the could be side. the exhaust, could be, yeah. you know. Could be a lot of things. Let's, I mean, we're 50 over where I was at last time. I've got options on what I can do if I want to yeah. push you further. Yeah. This okay. will kind of keep you in your transmission limits, too. Yeah. <laughs> I might not be picking up little pieces of the transmission on yeah. later. Yeah, we got Aries over here. <coughs> Mr. Aries Pistons. <laughs> Aries Piston. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Well, we finished up with the seven, and uh, Shane and I got to run to a birthday party, so we're gonna go do that. But this one, good man, 540 horse. So that's uh, we're up about 50 horse from the, the yeah. last time. Then so he made a turbo change, and this thing's working good. Like, so, I don't think I was here for this one before. No? I think I was out of town driving back still. Yeah, this is a good one. <coughs> You're always building rad ones. Yeah. And he's going to start a YouTube channel soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do, do you have a name yet? I'm thinking Seven Sins Motorsports. Seven Sins Motorsports. That's what I'm thinking. That's a good one. So keep paying attention to that. Google it every now and then. Yeah, find me on Instagram, Facebook, Seven Sins. Seven Sins Motorsports on Instagram. Seven Sins Motorsports. Yeah. And it is sweet, you know. I'm just stoked to get to play with it again. And then your FC is next. And then Vincent here again soon too. He's gonna break in and come back and start turning it up. So we got stacks of them coming. Yeah. I'm gonna bring every road And in. then I'm gonna have one. I got a little Datsun. Dude, that thing would be rad with the road being. It's going down. I think we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do the same thing that's in the Mystery Machine, the, you know, 13B, the Ford C5 okay. automatic transmission. You just make a tire slayer. Oh yeah, I'll rocket that transmission for you. There just we running go. a red line all day. Yep. They love it. Then it's on. Talk to the rotary boys. Yep. So that's going to do it for today. We appreciate you guys watching. Give us a like, subscribe. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. <laughs> the wild Dorito. We found an extra part. I mean, Why does it say sure bad on it? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's bad that it landed there. <laughs> that's great.